Hello and welcome to my channel of Java Noobs. My name is Sharath and you are viewing my Java video tutorial series. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I would suggest you to see it first and below is the link. Java Basics Part 1, Question 12. What is a local variable? What is an instance variable? And what is the difference between a local and an instance variable? Local variables are the variables which are declared inside a method or a block. A block can be referred to as instance block or a static block, which I'll show it to you in a while. Instance variables are the variables which are declared directly in a class. If any variable is declared directly inside a class, it is known as instance variable. Now local variables will not be initialized by the JVM. We will have to initialize it. The programmer has to initialize it or else uh, there will be an error in the console. Instance variables will be initialized by the JVM with their default values. Default values uh, of the data types like int is equal to 0, float is equal to 0, 0.0, char is equal to null. Memory will be allocated for local variables when the corresponding block or a method is executed. So whenever a block or a method when it's executed then the memory will be allocated to local variables. Whereas memory will be allocated for instance variables when an object is being created. Memory will be allocated for instance variables at the time of the creation of object. What I'll do is I'll show you a complete example of a program which has primitive and reference data types, local and instance variables, instance block and static block. So I will create a new class in a package called as variables and I'll name the class as test2 and inside the class I will type in instance variables in a comma b and static in c okay so let me just comment this instance variables this is static variable and I will be creating an instance block now notice when you write the variables or a block directly inside a class it is known as instance variable or instance block now inside the instance block I'll type in system.out.println and I'll print the variable C and just to save some time I'll just copy this and before that I'll write a string inside instance block alright and In the console, I'll get the output of the value of A. Okay. Now, this was the instance block. Now, moving on, I'll create a static block. And inside a static block, I'll type in system.out.println and I'll type in static block CK is called
so here I'll call the static variable now I'd like to tell you one more thing about static variables now a static variable can be called in both instance block as well as a static block but an instance variable cannot be called inside a static block now when I try to uh, you know type any of these variables or try to call this inside static block see I'm, I'm getting an error so it won't let me call instance variables inside static block so moral of the story is inside static block you can only call static variables but inside instance block you can call both static as well as instance variables now I'll create a method public void it doesn't return anything so I'll name this method as disp and uh, it won't have any parameters here okay there will be no parameters here so I'll type in int d okay and uh, this will be the local variable and you will have to initialize the lo local variable by yourself or else uh, it will throw an error which I'll show it to you in a while so now d is equal to a plus b plus c okay I'm just uh, trying to add these three a plus b plus c variables and I'll uh, get the output of it now uh, what I'll do is I'll initialize the uh, D to 1 okay so that we can know the difference so D after addition plus D at this point the disk method is already been called now we'll have our main method so that is public static void main and inside the main will have string args and now we'll create a reference variable test 2 t t is equal to new test 2 that's it we have uh, successfully created an object and now we'll be calling the method so t dot disk alright now uh, let's run this program and let's see the output so here if you can notice the static block is called static C is called and instance block is called C and A both are called D after addition is called and this method is called one more important thing you'll have to notice here is regardless of how you write static block okay a a wherever you write it the static block will be uh, called at the runtime okay so that will be the first thing which will uh, first block to be executed in the complete program uh, in this program I have given you a demonstration of how to use primitive and reference data types I have given you a demonstration of local and instance variables instance block and static block alright so thank you very much for watching and if you like my videos please go ahead and